Hey, do you want to know how to make a roof gun for your roof gun for um, to apply soap and how to make a awesome gun that works and does not cost a fortune and all that great stuff? Stay tuned to this video and I'm going to show you how to make it. So, this is Jason Guyman here with PressureWatchHelp.com here to help you grow your business, help you be successful, and help you change your life being a pressure washer or a roof cleaner or maybe even one of those window cleaners I guess so I got the unit right here there is one more nozzle or you can use a J rod for this quick connect um, there is one that's a blue adjustable nozzle I like I'll have all the links down below um, for the whole thing or there will be a link for kit.com and it will actually put everything in that kit in your basket on Amazon and you can go buy it and you'll buy me a cup of coffee when you do that so what we have here is all schedule 80 I like using schedule 80 so that way it's less likely to break oh and this is going to be my awesome trailer for pressure washing training um, I'm building a whole trailer you can check out my videos up here um, about how to build this pressure washing trailer um, I'll have a right at um, with trailer and all I'll have right at about four thousand um, dollars without the trailer we're about three grand actually it's, I paid fifteen hundred for the trailer so I'm gonna be about forty five hundred now this trailer is bigger than what you would need for a pressure washing trailer you know you could get away with a trailer a lot smaller than this but let's get back on to the subject here so what we have here is we have a half inch this is all half inch all the way down through here we have we'll start down here at this end and we have our quick connect half inch quarter inch quick connect we have a bushing right here which is half inch to quarter inch bushing we have a um shoot i can't think what this is called a um connector here which is half inch half inch i do have a 20 or 18 inch um 18 inch um threaded pipe here you can actually do 12 and be fine with that. I have a half inch ball valve here and I have a half inch um, pipe to half inch barb. Now with these barbs you can use brass on these um, and I like the brass. I actually like these a little bit better than the brass. The brass can actually eat out eventually and these here are very strong. The only issue with these are it's very hard to get a half inch hose over this you have to heat the hose I actually have a video right up here that goes over how to put that get that slide over there and it's pretty tough it's not something easy so with all the fittings we're going to use I always use this thread tape and you only need to go around twice I go around twice of everything all that you don't need to go around 10 times and I'm making a mess here because we're trying to do this on video so you go around twice that's all we need you don't need to sit there and sit there and do it we're going to screw these all together right here now the trick to this is is don't get hercules don't get some big two big tools here to tighten this stuff up if we put two tools on this it's going to crack and it ain't pretty if it cracks it does you no good if it cracks so i'm just going to use a pair of you know channel locks here and I'm going to just kind of tighten this up here. I'm not getting crazy with it. Actually, I would rather you not use another tool on this side. And, and the reason why is, is if you're using another tool, you're going to get it too tight. And you will crack these fittings. It's very easy to crack these fittings. So, there's one side. Here's the other side. You know, we can do the same thing right here. Now, here's the great thing about this here. I bought enough material to buy two of these. And you say, well, well, Jason, why did you buy two of them? Because I am in a generous mode today. And by you watching my video here, if you go out here and you go to pressurewashhelp.com slash giveaway, and there'll be a link down below, it will take you to a page that will get you signed up for a roof gun um, here. Uh, it'll be free you won't even have to pay for shipping um, all you will have to give me is your email and I have you turn around in a circle and jump up and down 
I don't know, probably not all that. But I might have you go check out my um, maybe a video or something like that to get extra credit. So that is how we make a roof gun. It works perfect. We can spray. There is one thing. Um, I couldn't find them in the store the other day. Um, but a 45 does work good here. Um, this is a straight one. A 45 does work. Might be a little bit better. Um, but like I said, I couldn't find them the other day. So I went with just straight. Straight works. 45 does do a little better. Um, well, the ones that I will, um, the part, if I can find that part, I will actually link the 45. I actually like the 45 here versus the 90, the 90, or the straight here. Um, you don't want 90, that's too much. But a nice 45, I can be on a ladder and I can basically hold this right here with my hose. It's going to be a nice um, focal point and it's going to shoot me straight up onto the roof and I don't have to go. You know, down here, i got to come up pretty high along my gutter line right here to be able to use this right here. So that is why I like that. I do like the ball valve versus the gun. Um, a lot of times I have used the gun, um, but you start, if you're not careful, you drag it, you break that gun. Um, there's that big spring in there. It gets corroded. We are using bleach, um, especially if you have employees and they're not cleaning the stupid thing out. That's a whole other issue. Um, so... That is why I like the ball valve. Um, that gun is also forty dollar or forty or forty five dollars. This right here is right around. Um, um, it'll be about thirty bucks. Um, you can buy these. There's a couple guys online making similar. There's a bunch of guys online making similar guns just like this. A good channel to watch. He gave me a shout out. I'm gonna give him a shout out that you can go buy these. I think they're like seventy bucks all put together come in a nice shipping bag and everything with the kiss for love is um south i believe it's southeast um pressure washing i'll also link a channel down to him down there um just so that way you know hey i'll help out another youtuber um, but with that being said if you would like to learn more about pressure washing and how to build a trailer under three thousand dollars not counting the trailer go check out my videos up here and i'll have a whole playlist of from my trailer here of getting built so if you start and watch it now, you might not see a lot, but there will be a lot in there. And if you'd like to grow your business and, and, and do more stuff, go check out my Google ads down here. I do have a, um, I can help you out with Google ads and make you grow your business and be successful. Um, see you in those next videos.